Uh, hey everybody, Barry here. Just thought I would go ahead and show you guys what's going on. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put in, you know, the basic extractor here, and then when I'm done with this extractor, I'm going to go ahead and build the advanced extractor, but skip a few parts that I've already shown you here. All right. Now, first, we're going to start off. You've got your base. All right. Then on top of your base, you've got a groove that fit, that is inside of it all the way around. All right. You're going to take your gasket that's got a lip in the middle of the gasket that fits right inside the groove right here. So you're going to go ahead and take the gasket, place it on, wiggle it around. You'll feel it seat inside. Once it's seated inside, go ahead and take your lid. All right. Make sure you take the plastic cap off on the inside. All right. Take your lid. It's got another groove all the way on the end, you know, um, dug into this one too. So you take that groove, make sure you put it on the base, move it around till you feel it seat in. Once it, you know, it falls into place, you know, wiggle it around. Make sure everything is in place because as you can tell, this one's not. Make sure it's seated. Once it's seated, go ahead and take your clamp. All right. Put your clamp. You've got a groove inside here. Then you've got this lip going all the way around the base in your lid right there. You want to put this groove. Try to get it lined up with this. So when you put your clamp on. All right, it uh, it hangs on the groove, and what you're doing, you're just you know you're you're pushing them together. Go ahead and tighten it. You can tighten this as you know, as pretty much as hand tight as much as you can, and then you can give it you know one or two turns with a screwdriver or with whatever kind of leverage you know you have, and there's a hole right here inside the key. You turn it. All right. The next thing you do, we're going to go ahead and take our cap off up here. All right, then we're going to take our gasket that has got the filter screen in it. All right, this one's really dirty because it's been used a lot, but we're going to go ahead and use it for the demo. Go ahead and place it, the groove again inside the groove that's cut around here. All right, go ahead and take the gasket throw it down like that try to make sure it's seated as, as well as you can since it's concave with the screen in it it's a little bit more difficult than the other one all right go ahead and take the column all right it's got a groove cut inside and again match it up make sure it's in place do what you can to you know feel it make sure it doesn't move slide Take your gas, I mean your clamp, and go ahead and do the same thing that you just did down here, but only right there. But try to make sure your clamp, this key, is away from this valve. Otherwise, you know, it could mess with your fingers and stuff like that. It's just a good little tip to try to make sure the key is away from the valve. Make sure it's hand tight and a couple turns with whatever kind of lever you have to uh, move the key. All right, now we're going to take our gasket with nothing in the middle. All right, again, it's got a lip. This has got a groove. The lip goes in the groove. Try to get the gasket on there as best as you can. 
take your uh, lid for the column, lift your valve on there, go ahead and place it on top. This is an older one, that's why it's, but it's just for demo. Go ahead and make sure it fits. Take your clamp. All right, remember, you've got the groove inside the clamp that fits around the lip on the outside. Now that you've got that on there, go ahead and make sure this valve is closed. Hey everybody, dirty back again. And I'm just going to go ahead and I've just got through showing you the basics to the other extractor, the, the basic extractor. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the advanced um, extractor. But again, like in the previous, uh, what I was showing you previously, uh, with the clamps and your gaskets, like I said, the groove, you know, goes into that... Uh, the lip goes into the groove. The lip on the gasket goes into the groove of your stainless steel. Well, uh, let's take a look at this base that I've got set up here and why this is a little bit more different, a little bit more advanced. All right, down here we have the splatter platter. Okay, this piece right down here is a splatter platter. Then we've got a gasket and we've got a clamp that goes all the way around with an open end spool all right that comes up here into another gasket that's got a lip all right that goes with the clamp all right it comes up to here and this is like a satellite i don't even know what to call this on the site but this whole piece right here um, has the big satellite right here. It's got your vacuum pressure gauge right there. And the biggest thing with this is a little bit holds a little bit more volume. All right, and you can look inside and see what's going on, you know, during your extraction. All right, then it comes up here. We've got another lid with another vacuum release basically this is just a mini lid thrown on here all right with another vacuum valve there's your other valve all right and now I'm gonna go ahead and try to uh, set up pieces as we go along and show you so bear with me um, then I'll try to explain what I'm doing and while I'm doing it all right all right, everybody, I'm back. As you can see, I added a ball valve, all right? Now, all that it consists of is an open gasket, clamp, and then your ball valve, all right? Now, on top of the ball valve, I'm going to put another um, open-end gasket right here, and then I'll, in the next step, I will go ahead and you know, I'm going to put a filter plate up here. Um, so you can go ahead and stop it right here if you're following along. And I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, inline filter right here. And I'll be right back as soon as I'm done. Alright everybody, now I'm back again. And as you can see, we've got an inline filter up there and all that consists of is an open valve all right on side uh on that open valve duh <laughs> an open gasket on top of the ball valve again there's your clamp make sure it's seated tighten your clamp all right and in the inline filter okay it's this is a inline filter there's what the inside looks like all right I go ahead and take um, a coffee filter, okay, that I've already cut out, and I place right on top of here. All right, it covers, it filters the holes, and you can put as much as you want in here, but remember, you know, on how much you're trying to pull and stuff like that. I 
got some really, really good uh, slow coagulative paper and locked up the whole thing. So I'm using the coffee filters now since I am using a couple of the inline filters. That one's already got one in, in it sitting on top of here. I'm going to go ahead and put the, the next two on there and then um, I'll come back and show you what I'm done. And then we'll go ahead and put the um, side glass on with the ball bearings in it. Alright, but for now, I'll be right back if you want to pause here. Alright everybody, as you can see, I went ahead and put another inline filter with a filter inside. And then I put a uh, another gasket with the filter mesh inside with the filter screen built inside the gasket and then on top of that I've already have cut out coffee filters that I'm using okay you guys can use whatever kind of filtering you want this is what I'm using all right and go ahead and place it I placed it on top of that the next thing I'm gonna be putting into that I've already got together is the side glass all right and inside the side glass I don't know if you guys can see that but I know you can hear it is ball bearings all right they already come into another inline filter but all the ball bearings fall through and stop and sit on top in there okay what the ball the steel ball bearings do is catch the some chalky um stuff when they get um you know below zero they'll catch a bunch of chalky uh stuff inside your um oil and it, it's just another filtering process all right but i'm gonna go ahead and put this piece on and i'll be right back so if you want you can pause here all right everybody i'm back and as you can see got the sight glass up with the inline filter and the stainless steel ball bearings inside and on top of that I've got another filter with a screen you know the screen gasket with another filter on top of the screen gasket alright the next thing we're gonna put into that I've, I've already got it put together alright this is what I call the polishing tank. Um, basically what it involves is, is a hemispherical reducer going from a three inch inside down to the one and a half. All right, a clamp. Then you've got a three inch column, okay, with a, pol uh, a chamber on the outside right here uh, all right that you can put dry ice in or warm water uh, I'm going to use dry ice and you, as you can see on top of this tank we've got another reducer this one's only flat then it goes from a 3 again to a 1.5 all right Alright, now once I get this up there and installed, as you can see, this one has nothing, nothing in it. It's just an empty tank. Um, but once I get this installed, I'll be right back. So if you want, again, you can pause here. Alright, everybody. As you can see, I've got the polishing tank. With I, that's just what I call it. Uh, polishing tank on top of the side glass and then the next piece we're going to go ahead and install is just another let's see another uh an empty like a little column all right that's got a vacuum valve on it all right and this this will all make sense uh No, I'm not going to put this on. I'm putting on a ball valve. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll be right back. 
All right, everybody, I'm back, and I'll show you what we've done. All right, we went ahead and added the ball valve, which I was supposed to add first, and now I, you know, I added it. Added the ball valve. All right, to that piece I showed you before. All right, it's just a hollow in here. I just put another uh, gasket without anything inside of it. All right, and. You know, with the this has got the vacuum port on the side. All right, the next thing I'm going to go ahead and install is that if you guys can see this tank right here, it's not really a tank. Um, yeah, I guess you call it a polish material tank now, um, or a material column. But it's three inches, and it's got the hemispherical um, reducer down the bottom, three to one and a half. It's got the flat top with the va vacuum valve on top. I've already got it filled with material. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put this up there. All right, and when I'm done with that, I'll be right back. And then we'll pretty much be done with building this inline, you know, this extractor with the inline goodies. All right. Looks like a lot, kind of is a lot, but it all just does, you know, does so much. And I'll be right back with you as soon as I'm done installing the other piece. Alright, again, if you want, you can pause it here. Alright everybody, as you can see, I've got my filled column. Call my short stubby column all right got that all installed now the only thing I've got to do is go ahead and put this whole make close this valve make sure it's closed make sure that's closed make sure this is open make sure that one's open and just depending on where I'm going to put my vacuum, uh, which would be right here, I'm going to go ahead and close that one. And then we'll open this one, throw the whole thing under vacuum, and do all the vacuum testing that you should do prior to your run. Alright everybody, I'm not going to get too involved in the rest of it. I just wanted to show you how to put this part together, though the little bit more advanced one so maybe you can get the basics down and just understand you know what's going on and all right with that everybody i'm gonna let you go and i might be back with a little some little pictures and everything uh once this goes on but all right thanks again and i hope you all enjoy your day all right I got another run going uh, this is a dreamberry run and as you can tell I'm getting a little bit of separation right here uh, what it's doing it's going through the filters all right and as it goes through the filters um, you know it creates air and then there it comes you know back up but like I said it's going into the filters it's filling all this because this valve is closed all right so it's still filling in all, you know, filtering all through here. And then, you know, filling up all the airspace in here and then shoving it, you know, up back up into here. Back through here. And then back up and, you know, into the other tank. Uh, Alright, I'm going to let this sit for probably uh, about 45 minutes. And uh, then I'll come back and open her up. All right, everybody. I will see you in a bit.
Yeah, just did the pour in my first run, getting ready to make another one. I just thought I'd show you guys what's going on. See, it, I didn't watch my muffin and it jumped over the side over there. But, uh, it'll be alright. Alright, everybody, I will talk to you in a bit.